It's Shabbat morning in Jerusalem and Shabbat evening back in Houston, Texas. This is a very special Shabbat in space. In the 50s, when I was a little boy, instead of playing cowboys and Indians, I used to play space raiders with my best friend. Actually, when I became an astronaut, he came to my first launch and he said he couldn't believe that the little boy that he had played space rangers with is now going up into space. We astronauts are human beings, and when we travel, like all explorers, we bring with us parts of our culture, our history, our traditions. When people ask what was the most significant thing that I felt I ever did, I would always say rescuing, repairing the Hubble Space Telescope. I mean, Judaism has the tradition of tikkun olam, to repair the world. Without our care and attention, things deteriorate, and to fix them is an important mitzvah. This is a special Torah. But I think a lot of people don't appreciate what it went through. It was sitting, along with me, of course, on top of four and a half million pounds of high explosives. And then you light the fuse. About a minute into the flight, you break the sound barrier going straight up. And then after two minutes, the Torah and I were now in orbit. Reading the book of Exodus, the revelation of Torah at Mount Sinai, and that somehow it came down from heaven to Moses. So now we have a Torah that went back to heaven. There is this beautiful concept, Torah min hashamayim, Torah from heaven. The full phrase is Torah from heaven as refracted through generations. It's something that goes back thousands of years, and yet this is something that we take with us also into the future, because as it says, you teach your children to read it, and your children will teach their children, and that's how we keep going into the future. <laughs> 